professional editors use green screen footage to create amazing special effects. Luckily for us, we live in a time where video editing software like PowerDirector lets us create green screen effects in our own videos. So today, I'm going to show you three green screen tricks that you can pull off in PowerDirector 365. Let's go green. I call this first effect peekaboo. On track two, you can see I have some footage of a person opening a window with the green screen behind it. I'm gonna hit my home key to bring my playhead back to the beginning of that clip. Now, just to let you know, you can create your own footage with the green screen behind a door or something else if you prefer. Now here in the media library, I have a uh, clip of an airplane. You know, we got the wing flying over the clouds. Looks so beautiful, don't you agree? So I'm gonna place my cursor over this. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button. And I'm gonna drag this down to track one. Now I'm gonna bring my cursor to the end here and I'm gonna place it here to see the brackets with the two arrows. Hold down my left mouse button. And I'm gonna trim this down so that it's the same length as the video clip underneath it. Now I'm gonna left click on the clip. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna go to background and I'm gonna go to chroma key. Here I'm going to move the playhead to a position where I can see the green on the screen. I'm gonna click on the eyedropper with my left mouse. I'm gonna left click on the green and I'm gonna click on okay. If we bring our playhead back to the beginning using the home key, we can play this and see what it looks like. Peekaboo. Oh, hell no. Nah. The next effect I affectionately refer to as Tiny Tot. So on track two, I have some footage of a lady dancing in front of a green screen. I'm gonna hit pause and I'm gonna hit the home key, bring that back to the beginning. Now, once again, you can create your own footage doing whatever you wanna do in front of a green screen. So up here we have an image of a radio and I want to have the lady dancing in front of the radio. So I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button over this radio, I'm gonna drag it down to track one. Then I'm gonna place my cursor at the end until I see the bracket with the two arrows, hold down my left mouse button and I'm gonna drag this out to trim it to match the duration of the clip underneath it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home key on my keyboard to bring the playhead back to the beginning. And I wanna left click on the green screen footage. I wanna go to edit. I wanna go to background. And I wanna go to chroma key. I'm going to left click on the eyedropper tool. And then I'm gonna left click on the green. And here we can go ahead and change the size and the position of the lady. So I'm going to place my cursor over a node, hold down my left mouse button, drag it to the size I want. Then I'm going to place my cursor on the image until I see the crosshairs, hold down my left mouse and drag her to the position that I want her to be in. I'm gonna left click on okay. And we can left click on play. Look at her with her little tiny cute self. Now, I have one more trick to share with you, but before I help you make your friends green with envy, I need you to click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. The next effect I like to call resign the sign. So on track two, I have some footage of a busy street and a green sign. And in the media library, we have my logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on my left mouse button and drag my logo down to track one. I'm going to place my cursor at the end so I see the bracket and two arrows, hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it out to the duration of the clip underneath it. I'll left click on the image of the sign in the busy street. I'll left click on edit. I'm left clicking on background and I'll left click on chroma key. 
I'm going to left click on that eyedropper, left click on the green, and we're going to click on OK. Now we need to resize the logo so it fits in the sign. So I'm going to left click on the image of the logo. And then you can just rescale it and reposition it how you need. I already know the parameters I'm going to use. So I'm just going to type them in. And we can close this out and play it back. I'm finally giving myself the recognition I feel I deserve. If you want to remove or replace anything in any photo, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.